was in all 15 and I tried to get another one but they were out of stock so um, now what I did was from overstock.com I found this one for $146 and it's almost identical except a liner has modified the one that they sell us for over $400 but of course you can buy three of the $146 ones for each one of a liners I'm going to go through the uh, removal and then I'm also going to take this one home put it on my bench and take it apart and see what they did to try to make it last longer of course this only lasted six months but we were up in Canada we went around Lake Superior and we went through some pretty tough stuff but just from the purchase you can see that a liner has a foam core and then they have that uh, foam cam that they put in there and there's supposedly some other changes I don't know what exactly they are until I take it apart but this one doesn't look like there's any any changes on this side uh, this this side we're looking at on the new one looks identical the top does but you can definitely see there's nothing inside this one a liners taken and done some beef up in there okay the first thing I'm going to do I'll put this down and for the removal process I put another video online in the past when I did it last time but we have 3 16 rivets one two three and four five six and then underneath this bracket there are some others but see if we can get this I have about a quarter inch drill and we see that's just a soft aluminum rivet it comes right off uh, what you do let me put this down um, you take your square head screwdriver and then you can remove this little piece you can see it's loose it's there's not much that they're put into you kind of put them on that's where your cover goes in the one that doesn't fit too well and if you do a new air conditioner you'll find you'll need a bigger cover I might recommend you source it locally the one a liner sent didn't fit very well but I had to change mine but anyway you pull this off let's see if I can do it with one hand but anyway when you pull that off and you dig in underneath there you'll find uh, your your other attach points and you have to dig out with a razor blade you can cut this putty and junk out so those are just into the the putty and you see you have four pop rivets there to drill out so drill all the heads off cut with your razor blade clean it up a little bit and these brackets attach once you you get in there you'll see how they attach and uh, take a, a really a punch is the way to do it and if you just hit that right there that rivet it'll fall down into the inside just give it a tap with a, a small punch and a hammer and those will fall down and then unplug it and it comes out this way so it's not too bad but I'll uh, do some more video in a minute over and out and back with the removal um, what I did was I got my rivets my 3 16 rivets you can see the little metal I took a drill which was a little bit smaller I went over to my uh, machine set drill and I took a number 12 drill it's about a 0.189 something smaller than the 3 16 and just run it uh, run it around through the hole enough to free up the rivet and then you can just tap it all through a uh, little tiny punch set you can tap it through and then um, I took my square and I found 
you can see these are loose. I dug away and you can see the screw there coming out for your tie downs. There's one on each side. You can see this one's all still full of gunk. Uh, you dig that around with a razor blade and get it out. And then take your razor blade and cut right along here. Uh, cut here on the bottom. Uh, you can cut here and cut everywhere. And then also on the inside there's clear uh, silicone. You can cut that too. And let me see, I've got all the rivets out. You can see it's not even budging. So it's, it's in there well. It's sealed up, but I'm gonna cut this and then slowly wiggle it and it, uh, it'll loosen up on you. Go little by little, just keep cutting until you get it loose. Okay. I had the aim liner now, and what I did to help show this, this is the bracket from my first one. And we're going to, just to show you what you see sticking through, you have to take your razor blade and cut this. And you see it corresponds to that right there. That's the strip of uh, white latex that's you put in here. And then this is the clear. So cut this one and cut this one. And then this piece of aluminum stays with the A-liner. And all we're seeing right here, this little tiny half inch piece is right here. And this piece is riveted onto the air conditioner and it comes back in and helps secure it. We looked at it from this side and those are all the rivets that we drilled out. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and then we'll see if it, uh, it'll loosen up a little bit. And then also remember to unplug it before you try to get it out. Okay, um, this one was a little tougher to come out than the other one, but I finally got it. Here she comes out. And if I remember to unplug it, I'll be okay. Okay. It's out. Um, let me uh, show you the, you can see this stays in. This metal stays in. That's what was holding it up a little bit. You gotta just cut that with a razor blade. And this stays with your A-liner and there are the old holes. You're gonna pick up that hole pattern, pop, do the pop rivets. Um, if you do one from Home Depot or Overstock, you're going to have to remove this. And I'll show you how to do that. You take those rivets out and then we're going to mount it on the new one. But first we're going to take apart this and see what A-Liner has done. That's secret in there and reverse engineer it and beef up our new cheap $145 one. Uh, and that's my old bracket. That'll go on the new one. See, it'll go on. It's gonna yeah, plug in just like this. It's gonna go right here. It's gonna be riveted on right there and then that'll just plug in. And that'll be a match if we can modify the interior so that it'll last a little bit longer. Okay, um, and then we also have to grind two brackets off. I have my die grinder. I'm gonna take these home and uh, work on them and I'll do some video from there. Okay, over now. Out and both back on my workbench. Um, this is the one I just pulled out that lasted six months and it's got the bracket on uh, and then you watch me pull it out. It's got the, the drip edge and this will sit outside and then your condensation that comes out from the inside of the unit will drip outside because this sits outside. And then you can also see these are ground off. There were two brackets on here. This is a brand new one. I just put cleaned up that. And of course these these are the brackets right there you can see them. Those both need to be ground off. I'll take my grinder whiz wheel and then do it and then this came from my old one and you want to measure when you take yours off and, and clean it up where exactly it is now on the old one 
the top dimension is seven and five eighths on each side, but then on the bottom, it's closer to seven and a quarter, uh, five sixteenths, seven and five sixteenths, and it's about the same on the bottom. And you can see it's not put on quite straight. I don't know if that's by design or was it Friday or a Monday morning maybe. <laughs> I'm going to pull this off, drill it off, and then uh, see where the lineup is. I notice when I put this on, it looks like it bumps right up against this to get the 7 and 5 eighths. You can see those 3 16 holes are kind of right there, and it looks like it, it favors to go 7 and a quarter on the bottom and 7 and 5 eighths. That's going to tip your unit a little bit. So it'll sit in your A-liner about like this, which apparently hasn't caused any problem, except they don't last too long. Okay, I'll uh, pull this off. I'm gonna open this up and see what that looks like inside, see how they modified it. Okay, over and out. Okay, I uh, just drilled off the old one. Uh, it's loose, you can see the pops down here and, and the little drip edge has three attach points. Uh, I've got my ratchet. They're square. So they're just three. So take those off. It doesn't need to be secured too well since it sits inside your unit and but those will that'll pop right off it's just got sheet metal those look like three eighths or a little bit bigger quarters maybe half yeah those are probably something smaller than half and then take this off. And we tip it upside down, and it just pulls right off. And you can see where the brackets were just uh, cut off. So when prepping yours, that's what you need to do. So that comes right off. I've got two of them now. And you can see this comes in with these, the LG does. So I'll grind those off, install my water pan first, and then the bracket goes on seven and five eighths at the top, say seven and a quarter. You can see where those rivets popped out. And then here's the old one that goes on in the right orientation. Make sure you get this on the, the correct way. Um, the air conditioner uh, shoves in this way into the unit and then stops right there. And then this sticks out. Keep in mind on the, uh, if you have the original LG air conditioner, like 13 or maybe a 14, this is about an inch and a half longer. It's just a different design and you need to get a bigger cover. Okay, I'm gonna tear into this old one and see what's inside. Okay, I've got the old one apart. I'm looking at the A-liner modification. Apparently, some foam, piece of styrofoam. And then, it uh, looks like they shot some foam right in there, and I'm assuming this is theirs. Uh, so really simple unit. You have a, okay, I've uh, got this junk in. Let me get a free hand here. Doesn't look pretty, but...
Now this was just spread in here. This is the A-liner secret. Vibration damper. Okay, uh, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit, let it dry, and then put the cover back on, and that'll be my uh, A-liner modification. Okay, the next thing we have to do is deal with these brackets. These two brackets, we need to cut those off so that it'll slide into the unit. So I have my little Hitachi grinder and we can make some noise. I'm gonna have to shut this off, but basically make sure you have your gear on. I'll go ahead and shut this off. You got the idea. Oh. The brackets are ground off. A little sharp, I filed them with a regular file. Now, I've got to next attach my little piece. Three screws, but they're supposed to be four, but I have some extras. So I'll attach that. And then uh, it'll be R. Well, no, it won't be off. I'm ready for installation. I'll have to put the uh, bracket on. One of my brackets, I'll pick the nicest one and put that on, uh, pop rivet that on. And then I'll be ready for installation. Okay, and um, I've attached the water tray, the three square head screws. I have it up on a board because the lip underneath. You see, I've got the spray in there and it's nice and hard and uh, that's the secret A-liner modification. That's all they do. They spray that stuff in there and use that piece of foam board. Um, <clears throat> I've taken the old bracket and this is a number 40 Clico. And same thing on the other side. I've measured my 7 and 5 eighths because that's what it was. This was only 7 and a quarter so I left it standard. The other side was 7 and 5 eighths and then it was about seven and nine sixteenths which on the other side which I cheated it back to uh, about seven and a half. The Clico I drew or drilled a number 40 hole that's about decimal point nine uh, eight zero and the Clicos I'll show you um, we have them here it's number 40 uh, number 30 and three sixteenths this is as I said point nine eight this is a 0.125 decimal equivalent, and um, 3 sixteenths is 0.1875. And here's the old one, but basically the Clico goes through, and then it retracts. And let me. Put Let's do the side hole. And what it does, it holds it together. Uh, that hole's a little oversized because it's been drilled and I'm going to step them down just a bit so my 3 16 rivets will fit in there nice and snug and expand and hold it tightly. But that's kind of Clico helps you. You, can, you don't have to use it but I can get a real nice uh, fit on it. Okay, I'm going to now take my 3 16 drill. Actually, this is a little bit undersized and I'm going to use this and this because it's located correctly on both sides and then I'll pop in those two rivets and that's what holds the whole bracket. So that's the process to put your bracket on. So I'll shut it off. When I finish that, I'll turn it back on. Okay, you stand back a little more. Okay, um, I've, you get a close up on this pop rivet for me. I've put one pop rivet in, 3 sixteenths, and here's the box over here, Home Depot. These are half inch grip length, 
um, and three sixteenths. And I had to open up my hole just a little bit to get it in there. But you can see I have my bottom hole. So all you do is get your, see how nice tight fit it is? And then start your squeeze. Two, three. Okay, so that's done. Then this was just a placement, this one eighth, number 30. And I'll just put a little filler in there. And that's all you get. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then this is done, ready for install. Probably what I'll do here at the house is I'll caulk a little bit. Later, but it could be done later. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's all together. Four pops. One, three, four on the side, nothing on the top. It's installed. I ran it and it runs, so I didn't punch any lines. I have taken and caulked right along the three edges with the white. I used a uh, painter's acryl acrylic latex. I'd recommend you just get a silicone. It's easier to work with a white silicone. And then this is the clear silicone that I used for just this interior bead because this, at least the countertop will be right here. So you'll see this, so it's clear. And then this you won't see because the wall of the A-liner will be right there. And then the rest uh, is just, it's RFI ready for installation. Everything is perfect dimensionally. Uh, we cleaned up a little bit of the A-liner slop in there by using our Clicos. And, uh, it should slide right in very nicely and we'll pick up some holes here actually this thing with the uh, silicone uh, latex that we put on this side it would probably sit in without the rivets but we're going to pop three on a side and four on the top for rivets and we'll install it and uh, we'll do some shoot some more video on the install hopefully i remember the gopro and that'll be uh, in a couple days. Okay, over now. Install project. Beautiful day in Ocala. Uh, this is the black cover and you'll need this one if you have the bigger air conditioner because it sticks out. See, it's ripping already from just a season of use. It wasn't quite fit correctly. Talked to A-Liner about a replacement. They told me, tough luck. I sewed on an extra bungee because these pulled out See, this was the one that came with it. I sewed on two extra big black ones. Um, before, you see all the junk down there. Before we install, clean up all your your edges. Get it looking as nice as you can. And you can look inside. You can see there's some more of this yellow foam that's in the interior. The secret modification for the air conditioner. Now what I'm going to do is turn off the camera pick up this air conditioner and see if it fits in. And then if it does, we'll go from there. Put it in. It fits. See, we're going to work on that a little bit. Looks pretty good. Notice the rivet holes don't line up, but we'll deal with that in a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rivets. You can see it's in holds in pretty well even by itself you can see the plastic drip edges right here so the water will come out and you see where the brackets are that I ground off uh, and then these two holes are for the uh, tie down the cover tie down that doesn't fit too well and uh, actually you might have gotten away without taking those out but might have been a little bit of interference there so but no big deal um, what I'm going to do next is put a little hurt on that, bang that in a little bit, and get that going. Uh, I see some of the old rivets. I'll, I brought my punch. I'll just pop those out. That would be a good thing to probably do before you put it in. Looks like at least one will line up. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and get it ready for rivets. Then temp installed. I was able to get uh, three Clicos in. See this space before it gets finally pop riveted. 
have to make sure that that's pushed in real hard and I put a little uh, hammering with my soft hammer just to bring that aluminum flush and I'll do it a little more but caulk will take care of the rest I have a little bit to deal with here I was able to get this Clico in and this one and just uh, it helps you hold them in while you do your other rivets but if you have two people one can push and one can do it so that's all it is it it holds it in and those are all the holes that lined up so what I'm going to do is with my drill I'm going to open these up just a touch just slightly so that I can get Clicos in all of them and then rivets will go in very nicely and then I can pull the rivets this is a little bit uh, more I'm running it just to make sure before I get it set in that it cools and everything's fine uh, going inside you can see the the air where you're going to be caulking and again for a review that gets the clear that one little spot and then this whole big line right down here will get the heavier white latex and then it's cool and it feels real good uh, it's on low nice to have an air conditioner in so all that remains is uh, pop rivets and caulk and I'm rock and rolling okay over now one two three four rivets in so what you want to do is see that one won't go in you're just going to take and put your drill in there and just touch it for about a second just not all the way through just the tip and you'll clean that up okay now you see now just moving it to a different location as long as you can get it in that's fine then you can pop that one push the whole unit in while you're doing it or have someone help you do it if you don't have the Clicos uh, this one yep, that one fits I'll pull those Clicos out they should fit so they all fit and then you just pop them and then you're done except for uh, reinstalling your top bracket I'm going to put a little bit of caulk under there to help hold it uh, because these screws are really not into any kind of structure in there but it doesn't have to have a lot of strength there are four screws I'll put some caulk in there and I'll put some caulk underneath and it'll be kind of like glue you saw how difficult it was to pull this thing out even with the rivets drilled out so once you caulk it's going to help you a lot and you see I've got the edge I've got it all nice and tight looks like a very nice tight installation and um, I'll caulk any of the other holes so we can keep the bugs out the sedums out depending on where you are uh, put a bead of caulk underneath your canvas or your slide your canvas in to cover it and uh, again here it is the black one this is a little bit bigger if you get the newer model it's longer so either get one made or buy one of theirs that kind of comes apart uh, these there's not much structure so they're all kind of stripped but there's a good amount of uh, <coughs> caulk under there enough to glue it a little bit and just a little caulk you can see she's dripping water coming out underneath and then that plastic one will catch any other not a lot of uh, stuff in there to secure it but put some caulk under there and screw them in I think you'll be fine it's been running now for about an hour cooling real well inside I did have it uh, shut off for some reason and I unplugged it reset the breakers and it seems to be doing fine um, in here I just put the white caulk right here and you're not going to reach down in there and then the clear you saw me do that on the bench it's on high I'll let it run for a little while longer see how she goes but um, looks like she's ready for a road trip after we get her cleaned up we'll head out okay that'll do it for the install a good little job that'll take you a bit of time but uh, at least you know how to do it now okay over now